All right, good evening, guys. Tonight's video comes from Harajuku, Thailand. I came back over here. I came over here about a year ago or so, and I filmed a video from when this was doing its like soft opening. Now it's uh, all the way open, and I figured it's a Saturday evening, and I'll come over here and check out how this uh, looks. Now Harajuku is themed after uh, the Harajuku train station that was uh, built during the, uh, the Olympics in Japan. And so they kind of want to replicate that and they want to bring a little piece of uh, Japan over here to Thailand. The uh, Thais love Japanese stuff, they love the culture, they love the food. So this is the theme for this. So we're going to walk around and we're going to look at this. It's a 48 acre complex and it's about a half hour or so from the airport area. So uh, it's a little bit out in the boonies, but it's not uh, super, super far away. So let's see what we see tonight. So they have a kind of a Christmassy theme, even though Christmas is over. They even have these out here still. These are the, I think, Daruka or something like that which are the lucky charms in Japan. They symbolize like luck and perseverance. And then they have the red lanterns, they have the little flowers, they have all that. Now it's a hybrid, it's kind of a Thai, Korean, Japanese fusion for a lot of stuff. The food, you know, the Thais eat sushi, and then they also love the uh, Korean food. And then you'll see the, the regular Thai food. So we got the lanterns and the little wooden style buildings. We got something going on over here with the kids dancing. This is kind of cool. It's got a, like a little walking uh, street here. So over here, this is all Thai food. Uh, meat on a stick, everything. Can't go too far without that. It couldn't be all Japanese food in here. We got some rice and fish. And these are all Thai snacks. The waffles, stuff like that. And then we got a little stage set up. And that's the little shrine that's in here. And you can get these little tiles and put your name on it and hang it. And then uh, they have the murals and everything painted all around. Yeah, I like this. It's kind of a cool thing. It's a nice little change from uh, normal Thai stuff. Yeah, the kids are going crazy and loving it. So here's a little bit more of the walking street area. So a lot of these people, what they've done is they've rented this store and then they've put stalls outside. And then some of them have uh, a little bit of seating in there. But most of it is done out here in the, the walkway, which is kind of tough because there's uh, like a little uh, moat here in the middle that you could fall in. I'm sure it's happened. Over here we got uh, the little drinks bear milk and then we got some uh, little snacks here the little croissants with the foie tong some thai stuff and you can see the lanterns and some more of the storefronts another one of the little lucky charms and here's somebody with a go-kart And they made an announcement there's going to be some snow, so we'll have to go check that out. See what it's all about. So you can get some food and then you can sit out here and relax. And tonight's a perfect uh, evening. It's got a great temperature. It's the best thing about Thailand is that when the sun goes down, it's uh, absolutely perfect generally. We got the little red bridges. I don't know if there's any more people here tonight or whenever we came last time. It's, uh, I think it feels about the same. And it feels like about the same number of businesses open also. You got a girl here dressed up doing her uh, little anime thing. 
That's kind of cool. She's got some ramen. Tonkutsu Kazan ramen. And some of the curry. Oh, the curry would probably be pretty nice. And then we got the little fish. Tamayaki. The taiyaki croissant. Yeah, the taiyaki, I think, uh, has the red bean in it. I was reading about that after I came here last time that uh, a guy made those little, uh, like, little uh, croissant things, and then he started putting in the uh, the bean, and they sold like crazy, and they became pretty popular. I think that's how it goes anyway. So you can look down there, see how it looks, and then this is the the main little walkway. Yeah, it's kind of cool looking. I'm not seeing as many people dressed up in the Japanese clothes tonight. Last time I came over, there was a lot more of that. Just seeing uh, one kid and then uh, one girl that was doing the cosplay stuff. And you can come out here and you can do these paddle boats also. Let's look at the little water thing. Doesn't look like anybody's doing this right now. But you can rent these little boats right here for uh, 50 baht. And, oh, there's somebody going out there. So you can rent them and then uh, it ends at seven o'clock. So you can paddle around. Or you can just get some food and come sit out here. And then this is looking into it. You got the little red gate and the red bridges. And then this is the waterfront here. Yeah, it looks nice. There's not a whole lot going on. Like I said, I just, I'm not seeing anybody out here doing pictures in the Japanese and cl Japanese clothes and stuff. There's the Rin Obinto. Has the yakisobi and the curry and some uh, goya, goiza. Here's the go-karts. Yeah, this changed quite a bit. I, I liked it a lot better with a little grassy area here. Those are little electric go-karts. So the snow will go over there. We'll uh, run over there whenever it starts going on. And a couple of the little restaurants here. I think that one was a wine store last time. Looks like it's closed up now. And a couple more here. Yeah, there's still quite a bit of these stores that are not open or they're uh, letting them rent out here on the street for cheap. Oh, so you got some pizza. It's like a little pizza cone. So the lady in there was pretty nice. This is Emily Knows Pizza. And there's her phone number. And this is what it looks like. So that is the ham cheese pizza cone. And it was 49 baht for this. And uh, right now she only has ham and ham cheese tonight. We've got a couple other things. Egg cakes. You can get some of the cakes for uh, 29 or 30 baht. So here's my little pizza cone. Let's give it a little try. Mm, it's that's not too bad. It's got an okay flavor. All right, let's keep looking around here a little bit more. Okay, so this looks interesting. So this is. Uh, like a little pancake, you can get it with the squid and uh, beef and all of that. So we'll try out with the uh, we'll out, try out with the chicken and the seaweed. All right, so she's gonna make it up right here. It's like a pancake batter, and they will put like a, a squid or whatever inside of it. Now I got one of these in Hiroshima that was just the the octopus, and they just uh, steam steamed the octopus, made it into like a pancake. So that's the seaweed. So it'll be uh, chicken and seaweed. And then she's gonna steam it right there. And the batter will squirt out the side. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like a like an old house on a windy, windy night. All right, this looks like it's about done. 
She'll trim it into some kind of shape, I think. So she takes over there and then she's gonna throw some uh, stuff on it, let it cool off just a touch. She throws some sauce of some kind on it and then she paints it. That gives it kind of a little uh, brown coloring. Okay, there's the finished product. Okay, all right, cop on a cop. All right, so Bun's gonna give it a taste. All right, so give it a taste, Bun. Let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> play and hide and go seek with your food. Don't play with your food. All right, take a bite. Get some of the seaweed. There you go. All right, what does it taste like? Does it taste like a pancake, or how does it taste? It tastes like the flour. All right, so bun, so eat some of that chicken with. All right, can you taste the chicken? Or does it just taste like a crepe? Would you buy it again? Doesn't taste like chicken at all? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let me give it a little taste here. It just tastes like a, like a hard crepe, and I can't taste the chicken at all. I just taste the seaweed. I would probably not get this again. I was hoping to get a little bit of the chicken flavor, but it's fine. It just tastes like seaweed. And one last look here at the little uh, Japanese street. They got a couple of the flowers out, but there's not a whole lot. And then you have uh, a Korean restaurant right here. So the f if you came in this way, this is the first thing you see is the Korean restaurant. Well, they do have some nice murals here. I think that's like Kyoto or something, and then the uh, Japanese flowers. This is kind of cool. They actually have a little salapau. And they have them uh, vanilla, black bean, taro, red pork. So you can buy some of these. Not sure how much those are. I think they're like around 60 baht or so. They have a few other uh, versions of the salapau. So it's snowing in Thailand. <laughs> and the Thais are going crazy over this. This is fun for the kids. Oh, they're loving it. Yeah, so I got the little snowmakers right there. So it's not real snow, it's uh, foam bubbles. But the kids like it. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to finish up our little video over here at Harajuku in Thailand. This is the Japanese themed market over here in Cha Cheng Sao, near, uh, not too far away from the airport and all of that, but Lad Krabang area, about a half hour or so away. To get here, you have to jump in a taxi and come over. There's not really too many other ways. It's too far away from uh, public transportation. Now, uh, tonight was okay. I Actually, I think I liked it a little bit better the first time I came. It seemed like everything, uh, before was more of a Japanese theme. Tonight, you know, coming around and looking, it's almost just feels like Thailand with uh, a few places to take pictures and all of that. There's nobody running around in uh, the costumes taking pictures, you know, dressed up like uh, they're from Japan. And most of the food that you see now is just Thai. You know, they have a couple sit down places with some Japanese food, but it's mostly, uh, mostly Thai food now. So, anyway, guys, if you liked the video, make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. This is what I do, I just go and show you things that I see and do. And if you like that, then uh, subscribe and uh, smash the like button and leave me a comment, tell me what you think. If you have any questions, let me know also. From over here in Harajuku, remember guys, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.